What you should know if you wish to have an immigration representative. Immigration representatives can explain and give advice to migrant workers on topics related to immigration. They can help fill out and submit an immigration application, communicate with the Government of Canada on the applicant's behalf, and represent clients in an immigration application or hearing. Representatives could be immigration consultants, lawyers, friends, family members, or other third parties. It is not necessary to get help from a representative to submit an immigration application, for example, to obtain or renew a work permit, visit a visa, or permanent residence. It is the applicant's choice. Using a representative will not draw special attention to the application, and it is not a guarantee that Immigration Refugees and Citizenship Canada IRCC will approve it. All the forms and instructions needed to apply for a visa, a work permit, or citizenship can be found for free on IRCC's website. However, if you decide to get help from an immigration representative, it is important to know how to choose one and to beware of fraudulent representatives. There are two types of representatives, paid, must be authorized, and unpaid. Only some people can charge a fee for these services. These people are called authorized representatives. They are lawyers and paralegals who are members in good standing of a Canadian provincial or territorial law society, notaries who are members in good standing of the Chambre des Notaires de Quebec, and immigration consultants who are members in good standing of the Immigration Consultants of Canada Regulatory Council, ICCRC. IRCC will not deal with representatives who charge a fee if they are not authorized. If you use an unauthorized representative, in Canada or abroad, IRCC may return your application or refuse it. To check if an immigration consultant is authorized to represent immigrants or to give advice, visit the ICCRC website. For lawyers and notaries, visit the Law Society's website of the province or territory you live in. Before accepting any immigration representative's services, it is important to ask, how experienced are you? What services am I paying for? Who will be working on my application? Do I have to pay for all my applications up front? What happens if I cancel my contract? Will you refund my money? Make sure you get a written contract and read it carefully before you sign it. Remember to always confirm that your immigration representative is authorized before signing. Don't just take their word for it. Do the verification yourself. On the other hand, unpaid representatives could be family members, friends, and other third parties who do not charge a fee or receive any other type of compensation. Beware of representatives who advertise their services as free and later ask you to pay a fee, advise you to lie on their application, ask you to sign blank application forms. It's against the law to give false or misleading information in the application. You may also get help from someone who isn't acting as your representative. For example, someone can check your application status. This person is not considered a representative as long as they do not advise on which program to apply for, complete or update the application as the applicant, or act as the applicant when dealing with IRCC. To protect your privacy, written consent must be provided for IRCC to be able to share any personal information with anyone or give anyone access to the application information. The form for written consent is called a Use of Representative Form, also known as IMM 5476. Some people may help migrant workers with other parts of the application process without acting as a representative or accessing the applicant's personal information. For example, someone may help with using the government's website to find information, access a computer or printer, view and use application forms, or to download and upload documents. For this kind of help, it is not necessary to submit a representative or release form. People offering such help and services might be settlement service providers, friends or family members, travel agents, human resources professionals, or visa application center staff. 
It is also important to remember that while immigrating and finding a job in Canada are often tied together, they may lead you to different representatives. In addition to an immigration representative, perhaps you will work with a licensed recruiter. Remember that no one should charge you fees for finding a job. Not the employer, not the recruiter, not the immigration representative. It is illegal to do so. For more information, visit the link on screen.